All right, guys, so this is the second part of how to create an ISO. But first suggestion, if you haven't seen the first part, make sure you go ahead and watch that. And then you should be able to follow along the second part. And I'm going to put a notation on top uh, as soon as I get done with this video. So you guys can just click on it and watch the first part. So without uh, any further to do, let's get started on the second part, how to create an ISO file from a disk. Uh, obviously, I mean, again, I'm running Windows 8.1 and this shows that I just put my disk in. Uh, so let's get let's get going here. So here I have my disk. Now this disk, uh, this disk is Windows Server 2008. So I'm just going to double click on it just to show you guys that I'm not lying or anything. So I'm just going. It's just going to open up this um, nice little Windows Server 2008. Um, you know the GUI interface to install the Windows Server. But now this could be anything. This this right here. This screen could be Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 98, or anything. You know, uh, Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. So so let's get started. How to create an ISO from this this disk? So. Last time we installed something called ISO Recorder. So as soon as we install something called ISO Recorder, then we're going to right click on the DVD. And this option, once you install that, you're going to have this option called create an image file. Image would be an ISO file from CD or DVD. So we're going to click on that. And this, this option should pop up. So remember, we installed ISO Recorder 3.1. In this case, uh, my DVD drive is D. Again, I'm going to show you this DVD drive is D and it's, it's telling me where do you want to save this ISO. So basically, according to according to this, I'm going to make a new folder right here just to call it uh, new folder and I'm going to put it right here so you guys can see it. I'm going to rename this folder to uh, video ISO. So. I'm going to name this folder and I'm going to say, okay, I don't want it in this position. I want this specific ISO in this video ISO file or folder. So I'm going to click on browse. Again, this, this folder is on my desktop. So I'm going to go on my desktop. I'm going to go down and find video ISO. Now, again, once you do that, then you, just for your own purposes, let's rename this ISO to something else. So I know this is Windows Server 2008. So I'm going to name this Windows server 2008 again the format is iso format that's what we want and we click save now once you do that it's going to show you that it's going to save it in this video iso folder and it's going to call it windows server 2008 iso so all we got to do is click next and wait for it to get it done so i'm going to stop here for a second and as soon as we get to about uh, i'm going to wait for about it gets to like two or three percent of just you guys show you guys that it's gonna do it actually it's gonna do it uh, and uh, I'm gonna pause the video and as soon as it gets to like 95 percent I'll come back on and show you guys what happens alright guys so I'm back now we're at about 88 89 percent and it took me about um, three and a half to four minutes to get to about 90 percent so we'll just wait around uh, and try to finish it up but something I'm gonna show you here real quick that uh, this video ISO folder we made that this is where the ISO is created so let's see let's see a live updating of the size right here so let me refresh this and look look at the values in the kilobytes that's going up uh, so you know this is just something fun if you're getting bored you know just click 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 and you will see how, how it's going so we're at 98 about um, cannot take more than about 10 seconds to get it done here um, here it's finished so we click on finish and now you have your Windows Server or Windows 7, Windows XP, Windows 98, Windows 8.1, Windows 8 or Mac even. Any kind of ISO that you want, which is right here, right, right on your thumb. So so this is how we do it, guys. But now, let me tell you something. Uh, on my next video, uh, what I'm going to show you that, let's say now you have an ISO, but you want to make a bootable ISO and you don't want to waste this. So, so next video, what I'm going to show you is how to take this ISO and put it on a flash drive in minutes. No, you don't have to do all that command line stuff. This is this is just gonna take us a minute. So make sure if this helps you even one bit, guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I know it takes a minute to log into your YouTube account, but if you don't have one, even make one. This makes me happy and you know it makes me feel that I'm helping people, uh, which makes me feel good. And if you like this video, uh, just hit that like and subscribe button. And let me know if you guys are ready for Windows 9. I know a lot of 
guys i've seen a lot of guys hitting windows 8 but i'm, I'm ready for windows 9 uh, let me know uh, in the comment section below that what do you think and uh, are you guys ready and thanks for watching again and uh, i'll make another video as i said about uh, how to put this on a usb flash drive so thanks for watching guys again i really appreciate it and hit that like like and subscribe button thank you guys